Welcome to a lesson on graphing polar equations on the T84 graphing calculator. We first want to press the mode key and change the mode to degree mode and polar mode. So we'll go down to the third row, highlight degree, press enter. Go down to the fourth row, highlight POL, press enter. Next we'll set up the window. So we'll press the window key here. Notice that theta goes from zero to 360 degrees. Let's change theta step to five degrees for five degree increments. And then we should be familiar with x min, x max, y min, y max. I'm going to go ahead and change the x min to negative six, x max to positive six, and y min to negative four, and y max to positive four. Next we're going to set up our table, so we're going to press second window. We're going to have the table start at zero degrees, and again, have a change of five degree increments. So we'll press five and then enter. Next we want to go to format, so we'll press second zoom. We want to make sure this first option here is polar GC, so we'll highlight this and press enter. Let's also turn the label on, so we'll go down to this row here, highlight label on, press enter. And now we'll enter our polar equation. Notice how now we have R's instead of Y's, Let's graph r equals four sine three theta. So we'll press four sine three, theta is the variable key here, close parenthesis, and now we'll press graph. Notice how we have a rose with three petals. If the graph looks distorted, we can square it by pressing zoom and then option five for z square. Now to determine the polar coordinates of points on this graph, one way is to press the trace key, and then from here, we can press the right arrow, and notice that below here we see r and theta in five degree increments. As we trace the graph. The second option is to go to the table of values by pressing second graph. Now we need to be careful here because when listing polar coordinates, r comes first and theta comes second. So notice how we'd have to reverse the order of these columns. But we can scroll up and down to determine r and theta in five degree increments. And of course if you go to graph a polar equation and this window is not appropriate, you can go back to the window and adjust any of these values as needed. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.